You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. Hi, this is Cindy Cochran. Welcome to the podcast of my show. Remember, you can join me live every weekday morning from 10 to 11 a.m. on Lone Star Community Radio, on Conroe's FM 106.1 and 104.5, and globally on IRLoneStar.com. If you're a big fan of my podcast, subscribe to my YouTube and SoundCloud channels, and you're always invited to my Facebook page, The Cindy Cochran Show. The Cindy Cochran Show is brought to you by our title sponsor, The Wooten Financial Group. Call today for all your financial concerns, 936-449-5952. Mic's on. Oh, that's that's the problem. Okay, all right. Uh, Yeah, you have to have the red button showing. The red button needs to be showing. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. I was just testing everybody because yeah. I, I knew for sure what was going on. You, you knew Jake the intern was already having a slow start to the yeah. morning. <laughs> well, when, when we when we came in, that's how it, it was uh, on the cough. You know, the, the red button is the cough yeah. button usually. So and anyway, we messed up. And we okay. usually think red is bad. Yeah, <laughs> very good. That voice you heard was uh, not Jake the intern. That was uh, <laughs> Samuel. Combs, my grandson, my 12-year-old grandson, and my 10-year-old granddaughter, uh, Cindy Combs, is with me sitting next to me. So when you see the YouTube deal of this, you'll be able to see Cindy sitting next to me. And you'll see uh, Samuel once in a while. Okay, and uh, Jake the intern, we don't have a camera on you. No camera for me today. Well, why? Why? Because my beautiful tired face is beautiful and tired, but I don't want it on camera well, today. Oh, so you don't want it? You don't want to talk either? Is that well, it? I'll talk. I'll be a part of this. My voice is always wonderful to hear. And there you go. <laughs> you know. I like that. That's good. But Jake, Perfect. you had a long, you had a long weekend. Huh? Well, yeah, it was a lot of uh, a lot of entertaining. I had a lot of family in town this past weekend, so it was it was. Uh, Family. Were you at Lake House or you at the No, we were house? yeah back in Katy at the Katy House. So. Oh, the Katy House. Yeah, it was my, like all, all my dad's family. So it was. Oh, how fun! Yeah, it was fun. So it was in my dad's birthday and, and oh yeah, my uncle Happy just birthday. just passed away and so that was. So oh, we, that's right. Yeah, so, so we all came. Had, yeah, we all came yeah. together this weekend and then yeah, the funeral is next week. Next week, yeah. Oh, they're having that next week. Okay, I thought I thought they'd already done. No, that. yeah, okay. it'll be ne- it'll end up being next week. We had to wait because. And family story. and all that. Yeah. I mean, it, trying to get everybody scheduled together was ridiculous. That <laughs> that is horrible. That's and you don't want to Skype the funeral. You want everybody to be there. Yeah, right. That's, of course. That's exactly <laughs> right. Well, th- I thought that I thought that computer had a camera on it as well, and that you could punch that up so that you could see. I, I, what does it look like? I don't think you can. To be completely honest, really? I thought that that uh, at one point uh, he was using that as a camera. I think we have. We're maxed on cameras right now. Oh, see? no. See, there you go. No. Look how cute that <laughs> is. Wow. I like that. I like that shot. That looks good. How does my profile look? <laughs> profile is fabulous. And it's it was fabulous. so funny. Cindy came in, and the first thing she said was, I like your hair, Jake. <laughs> I like your hair. And that's, um, that's I, I had done the same thing, Cindy. I told Jake, I said, your hair looks so cool. It looks like. A 1940s type of hairstyle. I love, I love that. So, um, and it's really cool. We're going to talk about <laughs> uh, since we've got youth in the in the house today. Yes, we uh, do. We're going to talk about what's trending, what's going on, what's happening. But first of all, I have to say hi to Don and Carly and Dennis and uh, uh, there's uh, Rick, <laughs> Rick Sellers. Rick, Rick, Rick is the um, the. He's that cowboy. He's that cowboy that does on the afternoon. He's the reluctant cowboy, Rick. Oh. And uh, he was talking about, oh, I listen to your show. And I went, oh, you too. I was so proud. So I had to say a shout out to him. But Carly Crimmin is one of our uh, faithful listeners. And I got to tell you, this was a, a weird thing that happened. I put some posted something on my Facebook page. Did you happen to see the, the post I did with the dog airing? Dirty laundry? Yes. Okay. Well, she saw that as well. <laughs> and she put on there, Cindy, what are you doing in this video? Because all she heard was the audio. Because she is, is uh, yeah. you know, she's blind. She's not blind blind. She will tell you. 
I am not totally blind. There's some things like she's, shadows she's and stuff like that. She's visually impaired. Yes, but so to tell, say, visually impaired Cindy, I went, okay. <laughs> but, but she can't see, you know, tell what's going on on the screen. And so she's hearing me say, Maddie, what do you have? Maddie, stop it. Stop it. Stop. It. Give that to me. Stop. And that's all she's hearing. And it's because my dog, Maddie, if you want to go to my yeah. the Cindy Robinson Cochran uh, Facebook page, you can see the video that she had gotten a pair of underwear and was uh, chasing <laughs> all over the backyard with it. And we were, oh, why? Samuel's saying, why would you say underwear? Okay. Why? Okay. Anyway, well, she has some, uh, but it wasn't dirty. I just, I just said airing dirty laundry. I was explaining to them that was the phrase that meant you telling all the bad things about your family and stuff. But anyway, so that's what was happening, Carly, is that she grabbed that and was running around and nothing I could do to stop her. Speaking of your family, uh, I, yes? I have a question for you. See? I was looking for apartments around the greater Conroe and Montgomery County area, and I stumbled upon a um, house for sale off of Cochran Street or Cochran Road. Yeah. Yeah. And it was Cochran uh, neighborhood as well. Is is that in relation to you? Was it Cochran um, Crossing? And maybe it was Cochran Crossing. Yes. Yeah, Cochran Crossing. That's in uh, Woodlands. You were yes. looking in the Woodlands. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, no, um, we have nothing to do with that. Uh, that's <laughs> funny. Is because Conroe. There were so many Cochrans in Conroe, and and in the Woodlands, uh, there was a paper plant or some kind of plant. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, that the Cochrans had, and so. Uh, they were very well off. Uh, they owned a lot in the Woodlands. They owned a lot in Conroe. And so it was funny. Everybody thinks I'm related to them. Oh, well, yeah, that's and why you get I was special curious. treatment. You know, oh, really? Yeah, you, you get, get special, special treatment? <laughs> so you have to decide whether you're going to tell them the truth or not. But my, I asked my, my father-in-law, I said, now, are we related at all to the Cochran's that are around? He says, we could be, but I never I never looked it up to see if, if we are. So. I would just think that we are probably because, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we are. Yeah, you just say it. Yeah. You know? Well, this way I don't have to spell the word. Uh, <laughs> everybody knows how to spell Cochran around here, around this area. Anyway, but um, I, I did want to talk about the the weekend. I don't know. I hope you had a. You said you had a great weekend. Our weekend was so terrible. Terrible. It was just yes. It was bad because on Sunday. Sunday, I was sitting in church, and all of a sudden, I get this pain in my left eye, and the behind it was like behind my left eye. You know when you get something in your, under your eyelid, and you, it feels like it's a, a rock about five pounds, and it's huge, and you just feel that way. But it felt like something was was in my eye, and I started getting this pain. And um, I found out later, though, that that's kind of what, I've never had a migraine in my life, but they said that can be where where it starts and what it feels like. Have you ever had a migraine? I, I got one for the first time two years ago when I got allergies for the first time. I had never had allergies before, and all of a sudden it was just really bad that year. Yeah. And it, yeah, I, I couldn't move for like a day. It was horrible. Well, I, I have heard, you know, and the people have had it, and I've known people, and, it's, and they suffer so bad with, with it. So it hit me, and it hit me like so fast, and I went home, and that was all she wrote. I just I tried to make some food for people, and uh, but I couldn't I couldn't cook. I couldn't do anything. And so what they ate was like pizza out of the <laughs> icebox, and and I made some pretty greasy spaghetti. And yeah. Samuel Samuel comes into me because what's good about having grandchildren this age is that their mom and, and Samuel and Cindy live with me, and so uh, and Sam, my husband. Uh, and so with, uh, oh, you, you let him inside the house? Yeah, yeah, once in a while. <laughs> he comes out of the barn. No, he wow. has his man cave in the barn, and that's where he likes to stay. But um, I wonder why. I especially can't imagine. whenever we're sick. Yes, especially when somebody's sick and you have to do something. But anyway, I, uh, I'm like there, Samuel comes in. He goes, you know what, Grandma? I just, I'm not being, trying to be rude. And when any of them say that for the first sentence, you know what's coming. I don't mean to be rude, but Uncle T's spaghetti is so much better than yours because oh. it's not so greasy. <laughs> spaghetti is so <sighs> greasy. I don't, it just is. But I like it. I mean, I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to get seconds, but I I just... I, I just, yeah. I just didn't like... I just don't like your spaghetti. So they're so honest, brutally honest. They don't know the, the subtleties yet of life. Except <laughs> Samuel, when he was younger, was better because his mom would say, Samuel, does this, does this blouse make me look fat? And he'd go... 
no, Mom, it makes you look perfect. It was so good what you did <laughs> way back. See, you forgot about how to do that. That was the way you say things when somebody says that to you. You, you my, say nice things. My mom still reminds me of the story of uh, when we were moving here from El Paso when I was four years old. And we were looking at houses here in the greater Houston area. And our real estate lady was wearing pantyhose. A little four-year-old me didn't know what pantyhose were, and I walked up to her and started rubbing her legs up and down, going, your legs are so soft. <laughs> and you were, you were four years old? Four years old. Four I knew, years old. I knew huh? what I liked back then. So. <laughs> Speaking of that, let me bring you that's what I like. Listen, um, we, we've got a song that we want to show. Oh, great. Uh, or we want to talk to, to uh, older people, people that have grandchildren, or even if you ch have children and you want to look cool in front of those kids, what we're going to do is talk about the things that are popular right now and that if you knew what to say and what to talk about, you would be like the hero to your, uh, to your <laughs> grandchildren. Now, whenever I say things or I start singing a song that's on the radio that is just a remake of a song that was back in the day, and I'll start singing, and they go, like, how do you know that song? I said, because there's nothing new under the sun, I do believe, uh, that that you will somewhere, some, it's already been done, it's already been sung, it's already been said. So I hear these songs, and uh, now the songs that they like, I have to listen to. I have to listen mm -hmm. to 96.5, <laughs> which is their favorite or channel. Or 104.1. Or 104.1, which is real close to 104.5, which is our station. <laughs> You're and just trying to feed off of their station yeah. to do yours. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the honesty of a child. Shut up. <laughs> do you have a shut up, Samuel? No, <laughs> no. We're, we're working on the shut up no. series. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, we found up, we found shut up Richard from Tommy Boy. We oh. go, shut up, Richard. And so. I got to find a better version because at the very end, he does say a <laughs> cuss word. Oh, he does? Okay. Yeah. I, it seems like that would just blare out, shut up, Richard. Um. <laughs> So anyway, uh, the honesty of children is great, and we'll have it all uh, during this hour, and that's about it. Because today is Tuesday, and it's Truthful Tuesday. That means you have to tell the truth, unless it comes to where it might be bad for the host and your grandma. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't have to. You don't have to say anything. It's Tamil, better not say Cindy, anything. don't hold back. No, and, don't don't hold hold back. and Jake, don't be asking questions that you don't want to hear the answer oh, to. I'm going to ask some questions. Oh, I, no. I got some questions. Yes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're in trouble. Uh, okay, and, and listen, just for everybody that loves Star Wars, if you're looking for a Star Wars art fest, uh, come. I mean, you need to come to the uh, Conroe Coffee. Now, why does that say April 30th up there? I don't know. No, this is just oh, May 30th, no. I think, or something. But anyway, but the art, it's just art all... Star Wars artwork is in the Conroe Coffee. If you guys like that, you need to come drink some coffee and stare at all this artwork. It's amazing. Okay, guys, so we will be right back. You're listening to the Cindy Cochran Show. We want to thank our sponsor, the Wooten Financial Group. And that's spelled. <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at that. That's the sponsor. It's the a Wooten. Wooten. <laughs> it's Wooten. W-O-O-T-T-O-N. I hope they're still going to be our sponsors. Shut up, y'all. <laughs> Shut up. We'll be right back. Cindy Cocker Show, real reality radio. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Hi, this is Cindy Cochran, and just want to thank you for listening. And remember, I'm live Monday through Friday at 10 a.m., and you can interact with the show through my Facebook page, The Cindy Cochran Show. It's real reality radio. Hey, give your ears a treat. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app from your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's Community Radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That's Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. If you are on the computer, bookmark IRLoneStar.com as your internet radio station. A Lone Star Community Radio, broadcasting 24-7 from the heart of downtown Conroe, Texas. Every week I get asked the same two questions. Am I ready to retire? Will my savings last for our lifetime? Hi, this is Chris Wooten with Wooten Financial Group. Our firm has been in Montgomery County for decades, but the hopes and dreams of the people we serve never change. If these two questions are on your mind, we'd like to help. 
We have a simple introductory client experience that allows us to get to know you and includes a few meetings for you to kick the tires at no charge. We'll provide you with a one-page summary that helps you get a better handle on which questions are the right questions for you. To take the first step to a clear direction for your retirement, call Wooten Financial at 936-449-5952. That's 936-449-5952. Or visit us on the web at WootenFinancial.com. That's W-O-O-T-T-O-N Financial.com. Get started today. And we're back on the Cindy Cochran Show. It's Tuesday, Truthful Tuesday. And I'm joined uh, with my, I'm joined with my, um, <laughs> my grandson, 12-year-old Samuel Combs, and my granddaughter, uh, 10-year-old Cindy Combs. Guess who they're named after? Their grandparents. That's who they're named after. That's right. And uh, I don't know why I have to say grandparents in an Irish accent, but I just felt the need. Uh, <laughs> so what we're going to talk about are things that are trending and uh, for these kids. Now, they're out of school. Let's see. You were, um, Friday was your last day of school. And, yes. And what day was it that you got bored? Saturday. Okay. And that's <laughs> about how it goes because uh, no matter what, the kids get bored and they have to try and find things to do. Now, they had a cool, very cool school trips that they went on. Yeah. So they can't say they hadn't been anywhere. Uh, so Samuel got to go to Schlitter. Splash no, Town. It's like Schlitterbahn. Like Schlitterbahn. If you don't know what Splashtown is, a lot of people that are listening, people know that are listening globally Splashtown. to us will know what Schlitterbahn is. And Splashtown. I, I, I think likely. Schlitterbahn's only in Texas, so if they're listening <laughs> globally, it's a water park. That, that's that's a water Splashtown park. is most known. Yeah, no, but I, I don't think Splashtown is, is that national? Yeah, it well, goes, that, it that, goes, it's, owned, it it's owned by Wet n Wild, and Wet n Wild. Oh, Wet n Wild is everywhere. And yeah. Wet n Wild is everywhere. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay, so it's like that. Uh, but Schlitterbaum, that's right, that is only in uh, the Bronx and, and they all have one in Galveston, Galveston now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we went to that one. Yeah. But Samuel goes with his friends. And yeah, I went on a band trip. That's right. Because he does the percussion in the percussion. band. Percussion. And uh, so they went on their band trip, and I'm telling you, I was so nervous the whole time going, like, what are they going, the peer pressure going to push people to do? And I'm afraid, I thought, oh, they're going to make Samuel do stuff that he probably hasn't done, you know, yeah, and he's going to yeah. and he's going to jump off something that's, ter- well, he comes back, and he's the one who's doing the peer pressure. No, he, I'm not. Yes, you are, because you no. go off the free fall first. Yeah, the Texas free fall. Yeah. He, because he, I wanted to. Yeah, but then Listen. everybody else feels like, well, no, I'm a wimp if I don't do that. No, I never called anybody a wimp. Yes, you did. <laughs> I said that to you. Cindy, you can talk louder. Yeah. He, he won't hurt you here, I promise. I'll defend you. Yes, you can say Cindy is, is uh, very, very truthful. Yes, very <laughs> truthful. She's, she's our fact, our truth de- detector because Samuel will say something and we immediately look to Cindy. Is that right? And <laughs> she'll say, he didn't do that. He did this and he did that. She's so, a family lie detector. Yes, yes. It is so true. So anyway, it, and they had a great time. I told Samuel, and I said, Samuel, you will thank me if you keep your T-shirt on and if you are and make sure you keep the <laughs> copper tone stuff sprayed on you because you'll get busy I doing did. things. No, I said, so, so I didn't keep spray your shirt. a lot. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> and so, Samuel, did you keep your shirt on? No. And what did you get? Sunburn. Yes. So bad that it took uh, a couple of days. He couldn't go to church because he couldn't wear, couldn't wear clothes. I mean, he couldn't wear a shirt. And so I didn't <laughs> think they let him go topless at church. So he he didn't even get to go to church because of that sunburn. It still hurt. Okay. Eddie went swimming. Eddie, yeah. And then after no, I went swimming. No, you w- before you went swimming. Yeah. He, after it was over, I there's a pool at my uh, daughter-in-law's. My daughter. My daughter-in-law's. My daughter's uh, apartments that's a saltwater pool. It's, and we I didn't thought, go in the salt water one. Well, I thought that would be good for your sunburn is to get in that. And it, but we got in the chlorine pool. Yeah. So anyway, it didn't help, and he was miserable. And you know, hurt. I don't know when I don't know your mom does this. If you just listen to your mom, but if you just listen to your grandmother, who's even older than your mom and knows more, just knows more than your mom knows, why you don't listen to her? And sometimes you have to admit, don't you, that grandma knows right knows best right 
He's not going to admit it. He ain't going to admit it. He's not going to say it. But anyway, so then Cindy, their field trip, they went to, okay, you don't take the plastic bottle and open it right in front of the mic. It does create noise. So get away from the mic. Okay. Anyway, so then Cindy and their, they go to uh, the um, uh, sea aquarium. aquarium. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. They go to the aquarium downtown. Have you ever been to the aquarium? Yeah, I've been a couple times. That's a cool place. It is. That's real uh, neat. That's real neat. Where you go under the bridge of fish and sharks and everything that's, that's going yeah. over your head. Leave that alone. Uh, if you mess with the mic, it'll mess back with you. And Richard will hear it from where he's sitting. He's not even listening to the show, but he'll know if you did something to the mic and come over and he slap like your hands. Supervision. Oh my us. word! It's like when a uh, when a, a grown man or yeah, when a grown man's thermostat gets touched. Who touched the thermostat? That's exactly right. I mean, I'm telling you, he is, he's the it's obsession like he has with it's the like mic. Yeah, that's exactly. Who has the thermostat? That's right, and. And uh, Sam, Jake met Sam. Okay. Met your papa. Finally. finally. And um, Sam likes to leave notes. It, <laughs> it is what Everywhere. we hate. We hate more than anything. So we come in. He'll leave notes on my mail like, you need to pay this off now. I'm not paying it. You better pay it. And then he'll leave notes like, uh, whoever put this down to... 70 or 69 or whatever is going to pay the next electric bill. And, <laughs> and if you don't even think about touching this, the, the oh, the thermostat is, you know, became almost like um, nobody B-I-B-O-R-C-E because I got so sick. I said, listen, I know when it goes above 72 and you come in here and put it above 72 and I can feel it. I can start sweating. He goes, you do, it's just that you don't hear the noise. You just need the noise of the fan going, no. and you'll be fine. So anyway, I didn't mean to get off on that. Why did you get me off on that? All right. So anyway, these kids have already been to the aquarium, and they've Splash been Town. to Splash Town. This is my so, that was my first time going to Splash Town. So we need to be able to count that as two places you've been this summer, okay? It hasn't been summer. That was still during school. Okay. And they're always talking about the lousy summers because we never go anywhere big or good they haven't been to disney world and they haven't been to any of those places or universal orlando they, in fact they haven't been out of houston no, <laughs> no, they haven't been te- out of texas they haven't been out of we've texas. never, been never texas. left texas no nope. uh, you don't need to it's the greatest country in the world no. that's exactly <laughs> right Yeehaw. 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 <laughs> so and you were in el paso I was born in El Paso. You were in born in El Paso. My my mom's the hospital room for all three of us. Uh, you could look out of her room and you could see over the Rio Grande and into Mexico. Oh my word! I mean, we were I was in a three story pink hospital building. Yeah. That is well. I would say my only experience in El Paso was um, I was doing a sign with Cindy on PBS, and apparently um, the people at Tony La- Tony Lama. Tony, Tony Lama, the one that has the, does the boots. Tony Lama boots. It's a big thing in El Paso. I, I was four years old. You know, that's probably true. You probably, it's probably. Tony Lama. It's already probably been closed. But anyway, it was a big deal. And they wanted to give me a pair of boots for something. So they flew me to El Paso so I could visit the, the thing. And then they but, wanted was to give me boots. Was this in the 1730s? Cindy? This was in the 70s. Shut up. <laughs> You better find that shut up, Jake, really quick. I told you, we're, we're working on the shut up collection. <laughs> I'm need shut up, Cindy. We need shut up, Jake, and shut up, shut up. That's, that's good. We uh, need and Cindy, too. And you know what would be hilarious? Would get one for Joey? Because Joey never says anything wrong no, or no, bad. Or but just a, no, but you ought to be like, stop laughing. <laughs> we'll just do it. Stop laughing, Joey. And we'll do a, a tape for that. He's going to bring his girlfriend this Friday. Oh, Everybody we get, we get has, to meet her? Oh, my, I, now I, got, I met her. She looks just like Anne Hathaway. I mean. You're kidding. No, she'll, she'll walk in and you'll go like, oh, did Cindy book Anne Hathaway for the show today? And I'll just say, yes, I did. And I'll just, <laughs> I'll just make her act like she the is. Lies. But she is beautiful. I mean, she. It's just amazing. So uh, just wait for Friday. And then after the show, uh, after we air that show, then be sure and look for YouTube and see her because she is, she's really something. Her name is Lizzie, and she's going to be here uh, Friday. So uh, look forward to that. Otherwise, I got nothing. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Samuel and Cindy, and then it's, <laughs> it's, it's, but it's just cut be, off time. No, 
but we but we want to talk about what's trending. Okay, that's and where we were going with yeah. this. Segment. Yes, that's, that's right. And we and we've got a lot to talk what about. What it was supposed to. Do. But we only have two minutes. Do you want to really dive into this right now? No, or, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk about. We've already shown everybody the fidget spinners because I I brought it yeah. and I put it up to you know to the camera and I said these are fish. Fidget spinners, fidget spinners, and you, your children and your grandchildren will be looking for them, and they're like uh, the Cabbage Patch Kids trying to find them when it first when they first came out. <laughs> now you can, but they get their shipment in, and every store says, "We're out, we're out, we're oh, go, they're gone." There's one off of 99 out by Katie, and they had like 30 boxes of them, and I and he he was like trying to pawn them off on me. He's like, "I'll give you three for 10 bucks." Oh was, my word! Like, Seriously? Yeah, and I was like, "No." I, I were don't. there any fidget cubes? I don't know. I don't the know. There's a ones. cube. There's a and cube. And I've been, we've been trying to find it Can't for find so them. long. Can't find them. Like and the, I love fidget cubes. Well, the fidget yeah. cubes are squared, There's, and and they have just little things on each side of the cube. And you can mess with it. Mess with so, it. So when Grandma came in here and brought it in for the first time, I didn't know what it was. I had <laughs> never seen one before in my life. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't know what that. I it made me feel really old yeah, <laughs> for the first time love. ever. See, these kids keep me young. That's why this show is so popular with everybody. They could. It doesn't matter what age. Anyways, ageless. We will be right back. You're listening to Cindy Cochran Show, and don't you go away because we've got Samuel, we've got Cindy, we've got and what's going to be trending and what songs you need to learn, of the, at least the name of it. So you can look cool. We want to thank our sponsor, the Wooten Financial Group. Thank you so much for being our sponsor. And we love your name. We love it. A Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's radio station with talk music, weather, and traffic for Montgomery County. Have a question or comment about one of our shows? Want to know how to reach a host? Just contact the station at IRLoneStar.com or call in and leave a message at 936-647-3776. Get involved with your community with Lone Star Community Radio. Every week I get asked the same two questions. Am I ready to retire? Will my savings last for our lifetime? Hi, this is Chris Wooten with Wooten Financial Group. Our firm has been in Montgomery County for decades, but the hopes and dreams of the people we serve never change. If these two questions are on your mind, we'd like to help. We have a simple introductory client experience that allows us to get to know you and includes a few meetings for you to kick the tires at no charge. We'll provide you with a one-page summary that helps you get a better handle on which questions are the right questions for you. To take the first step to a clear direction for your retirement, call Wooten Financial at 936-449-5952. That's 936-449-5952. Or visit us on the web at WootenFinancial.com. That's W-O-O-T-T-O-N Financial.com. Get started today. This is Cindy Cochran. I just wanted to thank you for listening. I know your ears will thank you for the experience. And don't forget to listen live when you can, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. The Cindy Cochran Show, Real Reality Radio. Put it back on. Did I say that? Am I on? You're on, yes. Hello. <laughs> Put them back Hello. on. <laughs> Hello. I never know when that mic is hot. Uh, I'm always hot, but the mic, I, I, I don't know. I, not I, always I turn hard. to you every time I turn it on. So that way you know. Oh, you do, oh is that what you're doing? Oh, I just thought you were saying, hey. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm not. You know that if you're has watching to be on a YouTube, I was not watching. Signal. If you're watching on YouTube, you see my frustration on my face. <laughs> <laughs> like the tiredness and frustration that you have to. With Jake. working with your grandmother, yes. <laughs> Jake, he no, doesn't no, mean that. I, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's it, Jake the intern? Y'all what are you are, wearing? Y'all are too young to the oh, guy. No. <laughs> it's a State Farm commercial. It's not bad. Yeah, it's you, you know what my my sports talk show is called, correct? No, I you haven't told me yet. Oh, so it's gonna we're gonna do a podcast airing this week since I've got the funeral the following week, yeah. and so we're gonna do podcast podcast these first two weeks, and then we'll hit live FM. Uh, I think it's the fifteenth. Yeah. And it's uh, Jake from Sports Talk. Jake oh, from well, Sports great. Talk. What are you wearing? So I want I want to get you to do me a liner and, and be oh. like, 
What is he? What are you wearing, Jake from Sports Talk? <laughs> sure, it's Jake from Sports Talk. What are you wearing, Jake from Sports Talk? Oh, I love that. That's, Khakis. That's great. <laughs> so our jazz, our jazz lady. Oh, she's wonderful. Don't she's you... got a jazzed up commercial. Well, so you you know the other one, the the other one that's got the real deep voice, and I can't go that. Yes. Well. They. That's the same. It's two different commercials, but they're right. doing a commercial for the same show. Right, and right. The, and you've got just two opposite, complete opposite ends. Of the <laughs> Completely <spectrum>. opposite. <laughs> that guy, because he sounds like Barry White on steroids, but that's <laughs> that guy is amazing too. I wanted him to do something for me, like do a. You're listening to some. Well, yeah, show. Nathan wants yeah. her to do something for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Related that is to the hilarious. show. Hilarious. Yeah, that would be good for Nathan's show for sure. Okay, so what's trending? It yeah. was popular with the kids. All right. Now, here is, we, we talked about the fidget spinners, and if you don't have one of those or you haven't gotten one for your kids, now a lot of schools You're have, missing out. A lot of schools have banned them. Yes. But uh, Samuel, who is very, he's not hyper, but he he's very active. And, and um, Hyperactive there. No, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. No, he, you're not. But uh, he loves it. He says it calms him down, keeps him focused, fidget and cubes all that. Would help and that's me what way more though. Fidget cubes. Yeah, you, you want the me. fidget cube, but because that's what I'd, I move my hand around a lot. And that's why he plays the like drums. Those, like, those, um, those old Chinese medicine ball things that you would like. No, no they're not no. like that. It's just like a no. cube with a bunch of buttons. Well, no, no, but is, is it meant to accomplish the yes, same the goal? Same, the same yes, goal. the same, same exactly goal. Right. Yes, to calm you down. Right now, so. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to talk about. <laughs> we're going to talk about trending. Uh, you know, th those are the ones that that's hot right now. But you know, I've asked the kids, like, is this still hot? Do you still think this is cool? It's like with Justin Bieber. How when he went out, he went out, the and boobs. with different ones that the people like, they don't like them anymore. They don't like them, and they don't. You know, you are something's wrong with you if you like it. Make but new songs. The, but the song right now that. Are, that are trending and the people like, the kids like, they love Bruno Mars. They like the new song that he has out. And if you could just sing, if you're a grandpa and you're riding down the street and you go and you just say, hey, do y'all like, lucky for you, that's what I like. <laughs> that's what I like. If you could just say that, they would go like, Grandma, don't ever say that again. How did you know even how to say that? But that's Bruno's Mar Bruno Mars' new song. Wow, the kids love that. Cindy can do every the whole word song, in the song, every sentence, and that of song, song is like, you know, it's like a rap almost, but it's got it's got so many words in, it. and, and yeah. I go like, and so how do you spell? And she done. Uh, I don't know how to spell that. Or I don't know how. We can memorize songs, but we can't memorize math. See, I don't understand that. They have got, their minds are amazing yes. how many songs they can sing. Wait, why are we talking about <laughs> school? <laughs> okay, why are we talk. talking about school right, whenever it's almost summer? I, we won't talk about, we won't talk school. about school. Okay. Please. All right. No math. Okay, equals so. Plus two equals what? <laughs> somebody has <laughs> already, somebody has come in and, and had a request for Cindy. You know, and so Cindy, they want you to sing the, just the first line oh, of great. the Bruno Mars no. song. Yeah. Just do the, you know, lucky for you, that's what. No. Just, that's not how, how it, it starts. Cindy. Okay. No, actually. Cindy. 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 She knows. I'm Evan. the only one chanting. Wait, and she. <laughs> that make you feel weird? No. <laughs> she she wanted her to say. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but would you say thanks just one time? Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Dude, that's how they say wait, oh, thanks. Th wait, that's, a, that's an actual thing? Yes. Yes. Thanks. Have you not thanks. seen the avocado thing on Facebook? An avocado. Facebook? Thanks. It's an thanks. avocado. It's very popular. Yeah. No. Thanks. A kid gets a present, and so it's, talking about being happy with everything you get, and he opens the present, and it's an avocado, and so he goes, thanks. Hey, it's, hey, it's an, an avocado. avocado. Thanks. <laughs> so, so, you know, every generation has the trends of things that they say. And, and avocado uh, is not even on the list. No, no. But, but, I mean, just your little things. Because you picked up on the things, and that's what y'all do all the time. Yes. But, uh, anyway, so Bruno Mars is the is the hot thing right now. And what's the other songs right now that you, you say are hot, that, that you like the best? Me. 
Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know, Sam, Samuel, that you like you a lot. <laughs> very, very kind. If you could just do one line from uh, Can't Help Falling in Love with oh, You. Oh, no, please don't even get started. You performed it for an entire talent show. Why won't you? And you won. Congratulations, by the way. Why? Thank you, but I'm trying to get it out of my head. <laughs> oh, do, you walk, do you walk around school and just, like, singing it no, nonstop? People, no. no, people will sing it around me because all of 8th graders, 7th graders and 6th graders have all seen me perform. And so they, they come up and they, they keep singing the song. They will come up and whisper in my ear, I will <laughs> go inferno and start just... Go it off just makes me... Yeah, it well, just makes me mad. Yeah, all of us try to get that out of our head because after, after you did that song... But during um, Splash Town, it even happened. Happened. It did. Yes. That's the price of fame, Samuel. So if you want to be famous, that's what happens to it. It's People hard. will bother you all the time. <laughs> it's hard. But the but, but who's your favorite artist right now? Uh, Singer. I don't really do you know. Like? Mitch. <laughs> oh, Pentatonix is there. Pentatonics. They love Pentatonix. Yeah, the acapella group. Have you ever heard of Pentatonix? Yeah. Okay. They yeah. they love Pentatonix, and they went to see them. Uh, the live and, um, yeah, in really. Houston. That was concert. their first concert they went to. And mm-hmm. that was ever? First concert ever? Yes. Mm-hmm. We who, don't do a lot of stuff. Who was your first concert, Cindy? <laughs> Pentatonix. Uh, no, 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 Grandma Cindy. Uh, Grandma oh, Cindy. Grandma Cindy. Uh, probably, uh, you know, the Beatles, I guess, the one that I remember. Yeah, you saw the Beatles Yeah, first? I saw the Beatles when they came to Houston in the uh, old Coliseum. And I was so excited, paid money. I was sitting up in the nosebleed seats, but it was, didn't matter because I was going to be breathing the same air that they breathed. And they came out on stage, and I never heard one note because everybody screamed. <laughs> so the whole, I was so <laughs> mad that everybody was screaming. I looked over, and the boyfriend that I went, he was screaming. I went, what are you screaming? Because we can't hear anything. We just paid all that money. So I was, and when I went to see their movie, Hard Day's Night, same thing happened in the theater. The, everybody started screaming. It, it was. It you was don't a, scream during a movie. I, no, not during a movie. You know, but especially it was, during a movie. Concerts fine. But, but nobody not loved. During a movie. You know, nobody loved them more than I did. But when I went to that concert and I saw how much people liked them and all that, I, I thought, wow, I, I thought I was the only one that felt that way. <laughs> and and you know what's even weirder is that sitting in the coliseum up up there, I knew that. I just knew that Paul was looking at me. I just, I knew it. I knew he was looking right, right at me. Right at you. And uh, that is a phenomenon that whenever y'all went and saw Pentatonix, didn't you think that they looked over at y'all's no. group? No. No. Never mind. Uh, Mom was my favorite singer. Oh, oh. that is so Oh, did she just sweet. text you? Yeah. She texted you. <laughs> she just texted you. She like forced you. Cindy, you Cindy didn't there. even lie there. She didn't even try to cover it up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all you have to oh. do is uh, go Google Samantha Combs but and uh, listen to her sing. You know, their mama is a professional singer, and yeah. and uh, from her, her mother's standpoint, she is, like, incredible. Uh, yeah. But anyway, that's just but this, you know, me. This is the funny thing, that you know how everybody was screaming at your concert yes. that you went to? The side that we were sitting on, we were the only hyped people to dance uh-huh. around there was like only like a That's few right. people in front of us, and the pentatonic- everybody else was like sitting down. The Pentatonix audience was a different audience because well, this is a it this was like group. a non hyped yeah. audience yeah. at all. This group, and and plus being a cappella, and there wasn't the you, you think, okay, this is an exciting group. Everybody loves. I mean, they love their fanatic yeah. fans, but they were so so respectful. No, of it wasn't a respectful thing. Everybody well, was either yeah. asleep. <laughs> or they were just listening. <laughs> what do you mean asleep? I saw they were people old. asleep. Mama and they, they um, were old. Mama and Samuel st- stood up. Yeah, we were starting dancing. So we would just sit like, there. And so sit they were, down. So y'all were the only ones that really knew how to act yeah. at the concert. I mean, because we're obsessed with them. One time, I interviewed. I was at a press conference. Oh great! And I would, and I asked the question to Tom Jones. Does it make you mad when everybody's yelling and screaming and they can't hear you? And he says, you don't understand when they stop yelling and they stop screaming, that's when you worry. And I said, that's, <laughs> that line has been used so many times. And he says, he says, and then he added, and when they stop 
throwing their underwear up on the stage. You know, you know you're no good. Yeah. And that's they what they did. That but that's what they do. <laughs> they would throw their, it was just that's strange. Weird. Their dirty laundry. Yeah, they and their dirty laundry. <laughs> Can you clean <laughs> this? <laughs> clean this for me. Uh. Do my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna. Do <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, successfully flustered Sydney. Okay, okay. Do okay. my laundry. <laughs> Thank you, Wooten Financial Group, for sponsoring this show, and uh, we're gonna be right back after this <laughs> one more laundry. break, you guys. And uh, we're gonna talk about dabbing. Laundry. Dabbing. Do you know how to dab? I no. Know. Yes, I've, I've shown you my dab. Yes, yes. Look at my dab. Jay can actually dab. Okay, so okay. we're gonna talk about. Some of the things that, that the kids are doing, and they're not actually having a fit. They're actually it's something that they like to do. All right, anyway, uh, you're listening to Cindy Cochran's show, Real Reality Radio. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Hi, this is Cindy. Thank you for taking the time to snuggle up with a good computer and a latte grande and listen to the Cindy Cochran show, having fun with the world's news and local happenings in your own backyard. Every week I get asked the same two questions. Am I ready to retire? Will my savings last for our lifetime? Hi, this is Chris Wooten with Wooten Financial Group. Our firm has been in Montgomery County for decades, but the hopes and dreams of the people we serve never change. If these two questions are on your mind, we'd like to help. We have a simple introductory client experience that allows us to get to know you and includes a few meetings for you to kick the tires at no charge. We'll provide you with a one-page summary that helps you get a better handle on which questions are the right questions for you. To take the first step to a clear direction for your retirement, call Wooten Financial at 936-449-5952. That's 936-449-5952. Or visit us on the web at wootenfinancial.com. That's W-O-O-T-T-O-N financial.com. Get started today. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app from your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's Community Radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That's Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. If you are on the computer, bookmark IRLoneStar.com as your internet radio station. A Lone Star Community Radio. Broadcasting 24-7 from the heart of downtown Conroe, Texas. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Wait, I, she, he pointed at you. Cindy, I mean, uh, uh, Jake, go three, two, and then one. shut up. And then do one and put me on. I, I'm sitting here like... No, I know I wasn't like, paying I'm, attention. I'm, I'm waiting. It was my <laughs> fault. It was I'm my trying. fault. <laughs> I wasn't looking at I'm you. I'm speechless. No, it's my fault. Mm. I'm taking full responsibility for this. For the first time. <laughs> Stop. For the first time. Okay, shut up. Where is that <laughs> shut up, Samuel? <laughs> you're not supposed to even say shut up, right? Yeah, you're I'm not, not allowed to. No, you're not allowed to. So only I on the Cindy to. Gochran show, that's it's, all you can It's like please that. be quiet, Samuel. Please be quiet. Hush. Samuel. Okay. Don't requesting teach me quiet. Bad requesting quiet. Whenever you whenever you don't know something, what do you say? Huh? Eh? What do you say? I, instead of saying I don't know, oh. what do you say, Cindy? Oh. Instead of I don't know. I hesitate I, to articulate for the fear I might deviate from the true course, course of rectitude. rectitude. I taught them that when they were about what? I five hesitate years to old. articulate for the fear I might deviate from the true course, course, course of rectitude. rectitude. I hesitate to articulate. For the fear I might deviate is true course of rectitude. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. I'm a little shocked because it's almost cult-like. like Cindy's creating her own cult of children. I hesitate to articulate. Yes. We are programmed. We are not children. But we... Do my laundry. But I taught them that so that they could, you know, their teacher... We can seem smart. Yeah. Their teacher gave them... You know, game of problem, then that would be, uh oh, do I have a, oh, darling. Okay, this show is funny. I keep mm. forgetting how much fun it is with kids. I'm going to say little kids because they are, to me, they're, I'm 22, so you're little kids. But yeah, I mean, do my laundry. I, I mean, you know, I, 
I don't know who's got a higher uh, IQ between the four of us. I think it might be those two <laughs> instead of us. Right. But, you know, their attention spans are definitely longer than ours. <laughs> you know, that is a good That point. is not at all true, because, though. You know, Grandma does have a lot of squirrel moments, right? <laughs> Mama, a, yes, Mama said rectitude sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> rectitude sounds weird. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Deviate okay, so. does, too. It sounds like a disease. Deviate. I'm going to tell them about duty. Oh, great. See, they, they use those words, and then I can't use the words because every time Without I use it, sounding like... I think of that picture comes to my head because of what y'all say y'all are so bad okay dab okay dabbing is is that still in uh, we had to get is that still subject. in style is dabbing still a trending thing kind, kind of it's kind used of. in different songs okay go but to, why are we going to this samuel show them a dab show oh, them. No, no no this is so when they watch youtube they'll be able to see what a dab is okay and do go cindy. ahead do cindy like she just dabbed did you dab there you go. That's Hi, a dab. dab. This is not a dab. You, you've got like the octopus dab. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's the little, this is a dab. Mm. <laughs> it's like, yeah, show, yeah, that is. She has an artsy dab. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's sophisticated. It's a water dab. <laughs> so when you watch, what you have to watch this on YouTube so that you can uh, get Please. all this. Yeah, so you can get all this uh, in your list of things that you want to be able to do to look cool. If, right. If you're driving right now, please don't attempt to dab. But <laughs> but if you're sitting in your office and you've never you've never seen a dab, go look up online videos of, yeah. Yeah. of Dabbing. artists, athletes, yes. different people, and see what it is, and then give it a try and feel how ridiculous you feel. It happens during sports. See, so I thought I, don't I thought the kids anymore. were having like a fit or something, but I didn't understand. But the, we are not but having a seizure. Or like you're seizure. sneezing, sneezing into seizure. your. You know, that's what I thought it came from was the sneezing uh, into your. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It, it, it looks like the, the like a pre salute, like like what you would do it's before like, you salute. Uh, <laughs> it's like uh, yeah, like the, but it was it's so funny if you do it. And when kids when it first started uh, happening, or when they thought it was cool, I was talking to some kids and happening. and I did the and I did the okay, you keep that up. I'm gonna and I dad and they were like, oh my, gr they gr don't gr like gr old people stop. doing it at all. They just like stop it, don't dab. Crying out but loud. My friends are here. But dabbing has been around for quite some time now, right? So yeah, 2016 yeah. probably. Oh no, way, way before 2016. <laughs> way before 2016. That's, that, that's all I can it. remember. So. But <laughs> is there anything else that has come up since dabbing? I I, I don't. Yeah. Think. Now, um, what's the thing? What's the thing that you said? What was this? <laughs> what was that? What was uh, that thing really that you were doing? What was it? Oh, did you on that beat? That was that was. That was, was that, a really that's a long old time ago. I thought that was That was kind of almost rude. before this is Gabby. A roll. I don't know. Oh, really, what's the really, role? Really what yeah, is it? It's just I a just song. Really, 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 really okay. Oh, See, really. that's what I mean. You guys, uh, the, the things nervous. that they do. But, I don't like to dance. But what's weird is that I think it's just them doing this, and then their friends get in the car. And, and then they, they start doing it while they we're all, listening to the song. Everybody's doing this, and this is uh, this is trending. It's for a this. thing. But, but it's nothing new, because like we did that back in junior exactly. high, too. Exactly, right. And it just goes with the music phase. Wait, what? Do you all, and, and your little, <laughs> you're not dabbing. Wait, what? Not dabbing, but we had our own little you know dance moves that became popular That's when right. we were in junior high and high school and stuff like that. But, that um, became... We, uh, our big thing when we were... Um, uh, late elementary school, fourth, fifth grade, and sixth grade, we had the the Live Strong bands, and those were huge. And you would walk around like the Lance Armstrong, Live, right, Live right, bands. right. We'd walk around, and they had so many different variations of them. We'd have fifty, sixty of them <laughs> up and down our arms. See, you know that's what's funny about that is because you just said a long time ago when I was young that this was. What, and I'm going like, didn't that just happen yesterday about the last Armstrong stuff? <laughs> nah, that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> to like, you, this doesn't feel any different. To you, that's so old. Oh, that's so yep. far away. I feel like it's turning into dust. Samuel, this. Samuel, does it, how old does Jake look to you? What what age would you say Jake was? 30? 21. 30 something? 21? <laughs> <laughs> it's 30 something. 30? No. No, he's not. I look like I'm in my 30s. No. <laughs> Like 22? 20 I'm 23, six? turning 24 okay. soon. So. Uh, that, see, he's, look, in that he's so young. But uh, I don't look that 30. Be, I don't now, look how old is 21. Richard, now, how old does Richard look to you? 
20? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Richard, Richard looks younger, younger than me? He's smaller. <laughs> you could, Richard That's has it. wrinkles. He looks like a pencil. What am I going to say? He looks like a pencil. <laughs> okay, at least oh, I don't look like a pencil. Okay. How, how old is Richard? Is he he's 28? He's 30. No. I think he's 30? I think he's 30. He is not is 30. 30? Oh, I know, man, you know what? I know he's up there. I know he's close to 30. He's up there. He's, he's up probably to, like 28. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. 27? You're right. Because I'll say how old I am, and that just blows like 64? them away. Oh, thank no, you. No, it's not 64. <laughs> No, it's 68. It's 21. Oh, it's 21. 68? See, Cindy's good. She just says, you look like you're 21. Just you tell look everybody like you're 16. That. Yeah, I win. <laughs> well, no, because nobody wants to be a teenager again. They want to be 21. No. You, 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 they want to go into their, like, freedom age. 21 is, is like, the first, I haven't uh, the hit last birthday even that teen. you really celebrate. Yeah. See, Samuel's getting ready to be 13 this Yee. year. Oh, I can't wait. You don't years. act like it. And Cindy's going okay. to be Cindy's, Cindy. Cindy's yeah. ready to be about twenty three. Says the one who wears the t shirt to this. Hey, I I like the t shirt. It's yeah. cash. It's cash. She likes it. He likes it. Grandma. Uh, no, you can wear anything you want to nowadays. It doesn't matter. You can wear because at, chur- then why'd at church you make they me wear, wear this. Because <laughs> I wanted your Keep you uncle to see you <laughs> dressed up. Okay. Oh. All right. So how many minutes do we have left out? We have only two minutes left. How? So. I want to thank, I see now it's time for me to thank my guest, thank the Wooten Financial Group, and uh, I want to thank you, Samuel, for being on and being Hi. so energetic. And, I uh, am very. Thank you. Mom would say calm down. <laughs> where, where as does, soon as he said that. Where does he get this from? I wonder. I, I wonder. No, and I was telling him how. I don't think uh, it's Sam. <laughs> I see, Samuel, you're so opinionated about everything, and he goes, where did so I get you. that from? <laughs> So, um, and Cindy's our, she's our line of, you know, like she's Trust. the one that we look to to keep us balanced. and She keeps y'all on track. She does. <laughs> she does. Uh, so thank you, Cindy, for being here and, and talking on the, on the microphone. With your stylish t-shirt. With your stylish t-shirt. t-shirt. And uh, so you guys, please <laughs> check this out on my YouTube. Laundry. My YouTube channel, The Cindy Cochran Show, and uh, we'll have it up. When will it be up? When will the show be up? It'll be up by the end of the day, probably. By the end of the day, probably. Okay, so you guys can uh, can watch this, and all your friends can watch it. And you can sit there, instead of watching that other junk you watch on YouTube, you can watch... (laughs) Okay. Glenn Mythical Morning is not junk. You just insulted their one source of (laughs) information. Like, Dandium. Superfruit. Like, Pentatonix. What is wrong with you? (laughs) I remember, you know that song, I remember when music was on MTV? <laughs> I remember when YouTube was just videos, not <laughs> right. actual shows. Not yeah, shows. Hey, but you know what? On Suddenlink, if you have Suddenlink and you're in this area, channel at 12. 9 a.m., Channel 12, the Cindy Cochran Show, every Woo! morning. Love Monday you, Mama. Thursday. Love you, Mama. Love you, I Sylvia. said it first. Okay, I don't all right. care. And you've been listening to the Cindy Cochran Show. We're here Monday oh, through good, Friday, good, good, 10 good, to 11. Bye. And we will uh, see you soon. Good Thanks bye. for listening. Ooh, uh, uh. You be quiet so I can say it. The Cindy Cochran Show. Yikes. Okay, take it out. Take it out. This program is... Hi, this is Cindy Cochran, and I want to thank you for checking out The Cindy Cochran Show and invite you to listen live every weekday morning from 10 to 11 on FM 106.1 and on 104.5 and globally on IRLoneStar.com. The show you just fell in love with was recorded and will be posted on our podcast channels on iTunes and Google Play. You can even watch the show on our YouTube and on TV with our City TV Channel 12 on Suddenly. So make sure to subscribe to keep up with me. My Facebook page, The Cindy Cochran Show, is always a good place to contact me through messages, to interact live on the air and ask questions, make suggestions, whatever. Special shout out to the show title sponsor, The Wooten Financial Group. This program is sponsored by The Wooten Financial Group. It is not the intent of Wooten Financial Group to render or offer personalized investment advice or financial planning advice through this radio program or any related website. Wooten Financial Group's participation in this program is limited to providing general information on financial matters and should not be construed as financial recommendation or investment advice. Investment advisory services are offered through Game Plan Advisors, Inc. 
a registered investment advisor registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission and the state of Texas. Insurance services are offered through Wooten Financial Group, Inc. Game Plan Advisors and Wooten Financial Group, Inc. are affiliated through common ownership and neither firm is affiliated with The Cindy Cochran Show. No listener should assume that any information presented and or made available on this program serves as the receipt of or a substitute for personalized individual advice from Game Plan Advisors, Wooten Financial Group, or any of their representatives. Thanks for checking out this podcast of Lone Star Community Radio, Montgomery County's community radio station. If you enjoyed this recording, make sure to check out our past shows online at IRLoneStar.com or their respected video or podcast formats on YouTube, Google Play, or iTunes. If you have any questions regarding the show, either it being about sponsorships or questions for the host, Contact the station manager at D-I-C-K at IRLoneStar.com or call the station at 936-647-3776. This show was recorded in downtown Conroe, Texas at the Lone Star Community Radio Studio. And Lone Star Community Radio reserves all rights to this recording and images.